morning, guys. We've got one more day left of vacation. Having some Starbucks and just enjoying the nice morning. And I am sunburned, I am tired, I am worn out, but I've had one heck of a vacation. Okay, I've got on my Minion, or Gamma of the Minion t-shirt. Aubrey says Aubrey of the Minion. And uh, we all have matching shirts today. There's a couple rides I haven't gotten to do that I want to do. Aubrey didn't get to do it, go into Seuss Land and ride any rides. She just went through a little kitty park, like playground area there on our way out yesterday. So I want to go back in there today and really let Aubrey go on some rides and then maybe me go on some rides and see where the day takes us. We are here at Islands of Adventure for another day in the parks and uh, ready to watch Aubrey have some fun in Seuss Land.
girl. Oh my goodness! You wanna go try it? Yeah, okay, gotta figure out where we're at. You gonna do magic today? You gotta say the spell with it. I think you have to go the other way, Courtney. Maybe you're just not in You're not a witch, Courtney. Just let it go. I got it on my first try. Yeah, good job. Can I try now? <laughs> She's the wizard. Okay, so now we're going on Flight of the Hippogriff here in the Harry Potter world. So this should be fun. And Aubrey is having a blast with her magic wand. I got the little hippogriff right here in front. It's Buckbeak. It's Buckbeak. Buckbeak. Whoa. Okay, it's right there. Hi, back me. Oh, wow. I Okay, that's it for me. I'm done with the parks. I can't do anymore. I'm too worn out. Courtney's staying here by herself. I think Madeline's gonna meet up with her, with Aubrey, and then I'm just gonna chill with my husband by the pool. And maybe we'll meet him up later for dinner. But man, a whole week and a half of theme parks takes a toll on ya. That's okay. But it's been a blast so far. I gotta say my favorite ride here was definitely Green Gods. So, okay, next time I see you, I'll be at the pool. And I'm back at the pool. <laughs> and 
and I'm ordering myself a nice drink and I got a Caesar salad and some buffalo wings and I'm just gonna sit here and relax, maybe get, take a dip in the pool and then Aubrey will be coming down here after she's done with her nap. Go down the slide with her a couple times, I'm sure. And then I think we're gonna go out to dinner and that is the plan. So Courtney's in the park by herself right now, enjoying Harry Potter on her own. And here comes my drink. Look at that, yes. Mm. Now I can relax. Okay, so it's been raining, but there's sun there. Lots of clouds over there with the rain. And Aubrey has been playing this whole time in the rain. That's what she's been doing. <laughs> I got the chicken.
chicken quesadilla, and Tommy's got some pretzels. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna see how well you eat that. I don't think you're gonna eat it. You think you're gonna eat all that? Morning, Abby. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> oh, she doesn't like it. Because it's organic? Mm. Try it. Try it. You want me to try it? Yeah. it looks like it's going to taste like baby food. Like... That's baby food. I Look. told you you wouldn't like it, but you had to have it. That's kind of gross, it right? Was. It's because it's organic. I don't like organic. I want the, <laughs> you want the? I want the <laughs> the shots of. <laughs> Good morning. It is our last Let's day of out, vacation. We're no. sitting here at the Starbucks. Let's and no. then, um, Madeline, are you going in the park? Uh -oh. You want to go on Hagrid one more time, don't I you? Do. Aubrey Marie. It looks like baby food too. Yucky. That's gross. But if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in the morning. She wants to go on Hagrid one more time. That's the best ride ever. I'm just vacationed out. I'm ready to go home. I miss everybody. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to be in my own bed. Vacation was fun, but I am worn out. Yeah, see, we need to go now because every time we're in Whoa, Harry Potter we World, like it, it rings. Mommy, oh, we like to stay here forever. You're gonna stay here forever. Oh, you blue. <laughs> you have blue right there. Oh, no, we go blue. Oh, the real life blue? Yeah. What's the real life blue? I think the real life blue is asleep. No, it's not. Still awake. I got to be awake a whole time. That's what blue would be like. <laughs> I actually showed her video of blue and she was like, yeah, I want to go see her. I think she'd freak out. That's just me. Horses <laughs> follow?
Yay! Yeah. You look great! Let me see you, baby. Oh my gosh. That looks so awesome. Do you love it? Look at my food. Yeah, you want to show your friends your food? Yeah, look. Okay, we got mashed potatoes and a roll. You want to Mmm, is it delicious? It's squishy. It's squishy. Yay. Let's squish the roll. I got some salad and a roll, potatoes, and some beef stew. And Courtney got some other stuff here. That's what we're doing for dinner right now. And then I'm going to wait for the dessert. We do a dessert thing too. So I'll come back and show you guys that later. Okay, so we're here for the dessert step. And let's see what they've got. They've got milk. They've got tiramisu. They've got cookies. Hold on. Don't pull on that yet. Ooh, and they've got cannolis. Mmm, more cookies. You want to get some treats? Yeah, let's get some treats. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? I'm sitting outside. I just got done with dinner. Courtney came and picked up Aubrey. They went back up to the room to start packing. It's, the sun is setting now. I'm sitting out on this plaza, a piazza area. It is so relaxing at this hotel. So, let's do a wrap up of how I thought the trip went. So the first part of the trip was, of course, Walt Disney World. And that was amazing for me because I'm a huge Disney fan. Hot as blazes sun, sweating, sweating, sweating. But besides that, there were some really great moments. Like when Aubrey first saw Mickey Mouse for the first time, she ran up to him, it was so cute. Um, the fireworks show was a little packed and crazy and that scared me, but the actual impact that it made on Aubrey of actually seeing the fireworks show, that was awesome. That made me cry. That made Courtney cry. It was totally worth it. Then me getting to go to Batu for the first time with Billy was so... Oh my gosh, so amazing. I loved that experience. That was so fun. I cannot wait to come back for Rise of the Resistance. Then coming here to Universal, this hotel was amazing. The club service was great. The pool area was just perfect for Aubrey. I loved the food here. The food was fantastic. Just overall a great, great vacation. Uh, meeting Blue today was really, really cool. So I'm not going to be filming any of our stuff of us actually getting on the airplane and going home. I'm going to end our vacation here. And I want to say thank you guys for joining us for these crazy days on our first vacation we haven't done in seven years. There was some fighting that was going on and I think that's because it's hot. When you're on vacation and it's hot and you got all these things that you want to try and pack into your vacation, the one thing I did learn from this is to try and take it easy because the minute that we stopped worrying about making sure we made every reservation that we had planned and every little detail like falling into play, it made it a lot more relaxed and it made it more easy to manage and not be so grumpy at each other. Physically, for heavier people like me, don't be afraid to wear those knee braces, to drink lots of water, and to maybe even get a scooter. I didn't get a scooter because I just didn't want to pay for it, but uh, it really would have made my experience, I think, a little bit better if I did need to do something like that. Having that knee brace helped a lot. Other than that, I mean, the vacation was fantastic. I, we have talked a lot about what we would do on our next vacation. That's still up in the air. We're not really sure what it is that we want to do. We've looked into a lot of different things, talked to a lot of people, met a lot of really amazing people on this vacation. 
Um, shout out to all of those people that we met, Kat and Michael and <laughs> everyone that we've met on the vacation was so awesome and so fun. So that's it for us for our first Walt Disney World vlogging series of vacation fun. And I will see you guys next time back in the studio getting ready. We leave in two weeks to go to Worlds of Fun for their Halloween haunt. That will be amazing. It will be our fifth, I think fourth or fifth time going to Worlds of Fun with the dancers. So you know that's gonna be a fun, fun experience doing that. And um, then it's getting ready for our winter showcase and getting ready for our 2020 competition season and then it'll be tons of competition vlogs again and all kinds of stuff getting ready for that and then seeing Aubrey dance at our new studio too she'll be dancing over at Ignition doing that as well so we've got a lot of jam-packed fun stuff in store for us and then getting ready for another Walt Disney World family vacation so that's what you can expect here at Dance Bot Family Vlogs. Again, thank you for joining us. If you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like and leave a comment if you stayed at one of these uh, resorts that we stayed at at Portofino or over at Port Orleans. Tell us what your experience was about, like how you enjoyed it or if you didn't like it. Um, I'd love to hear it if you've got any suggestions on how to do a Disney vacation even more grand or a universal vacation some things that we missed that I want to try again. Voodoo donuts. I keep seeing everybody walking around with these voodoo donut boxes and the place was packed. Didn't get to go into that. I'll try that next time. We didn't get to go to the Chocolate Emporium. I want to try that next time. Um, Sci-Fi Cafe. I want to try that next time. Let's see what else. Didn't get to go on all my Disney rides that I wanted to go on. Um, definitely will not be going back to be our guest. That was a no-no for me. Um, maybe we'll try the Crystal Emporium. And I think what we're talking about is doing a deluxe resort next time. That way we can be closer to the Magic Kingdom because that is our favorite park. And uh, we can go experience that a little bit better. And maybe even actually engaging in the World Showcase and going around and seeing the different countries and doing the Food and Wine Festival because we really didn't get a chance to do that either. It was just too hot and it's hard to do with a three-year-old. So maybe that'll be something we can do in the future. All right, that's it from us from our Walt Disney World Universal Vacation. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you guys so much for joining us for this fun, crazy adventure and I will see you next time. Peace out. Bye.